Here is a breakdown of the pros and cons for working at a small firm versus a large firm. I work at a small firm, so I'll lean heavily on my experiences here. This video is broken down into three parts, the performance aspect, the social aspect, and the financial or compensation aspect. I want to quickly thank and welcome all the new viewers and the subscribers, almost 200, and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Depending on the project and the scope of work, I get to work with many different materials on a variety of projects. I also work on all aspects of the project, from laying out the framing, to designing all the connection details, and all the way to reviewing the shop drawings. Some drawings can be as simple as adding some dunnage, while other projects can be as large as renovating an entire building or building an entirely new structure. Regardless of the job, being at a smaller firm means I'm involved with the entire project, from start to finish, and all aspects of the job. On the flip side, at a larger firm, you'll get to work at a very large and often famous project. True, that sometimes these projects may take a while to design, sometimes a year or two, but at the end of the day, you can point to a large structure and said, I took part in designing this. Some larger firms are structured, so you might end up having to take on only one aspect of the job or become an expert in one material. At a smaller firm, I can have three to five projects at once, ranging in scope. My days are never really boring because I can always switch and work on different aspects and different projects to keep me on my feet. But at a larger firm, you might not have the luxury of being able to switch around like that. Being at a smaller firm, I feel very comfortable calling my manager who's the principal engineer. At a larger firm, you have the benefit that if your manager is busy, you still have a large group of experienced engineers whom you can ask your questions to. In my firm, I know exactly how my team operates and where I fit in. A benefit to this is I understand where exactly I can help and contribute to help me stand out the most. At smaller firms, there tends to be less of an HR department, so you may have less official company social events. On the other hand, getting to know only a few engineers that work with you on a day-to-day -day basis really isn't that hard. Larger firms often have an internal mentoring program where you can learn from engineers of various levels. If there isn't a mentoring program, you can still learn from the members of your large team and can associate with engineers at various levels in their career. A major benefit of starting in a larger firm is that they'll have many subdisciplines with each discipline of civil engineering. Let's say you're working in a structural department and you're working on buildings, but instead you really want to work on bridges. Within a larger firm, you may be able to transition from a building structural engineer to a bridge structural engineer, while at a smaller firm, you might be stuck with what your firm does. In larger firms, there's usually pathways to promotions and career advancement. At a smaller firm, you may get more advanced work, but there's no exact path or title to show your progression. Additionally, at a smaller firm, you may not gain the experience of managing other engineers because the projects are usually one-man jobs. For me, I try to get involved with professional committees and volunteer elsewhere to help grow my leadership abilities. Larger firms will usually have a built-in system for raises and paying for additional schooling or licenses, while smaller firms, you may need to ask for it. On the flip side, in smaller firms, you have more room to negotiate a compensation package because it's more one-on-one -on -one and personal. At my smaller firm, I inevitably am learning how an engineering firm operates from the renewal of licenses to dealing with contracts and dealing directly with clients. I'm slowly gaining an understanding to the business side of engineering as opposed to only the design aspect. For someone who's interested in starting their own firm, this can be a great opportunity to learn a whole lot. Well, I hope this video helped explain some of the benefits for working at a small firm and help you decide what type of firm is right for you. Let me know in the comments if I missed a benefit on either side. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And as always, stay civil.